Aquarius Sound Meditation What is my desire? Make yourself comfortable. Put your feet on the ground and close your eyes. Just relax and be still. Whenever you have a free moment, think about the past few hours and think what your feelings actually were during these past few hours or at any particular experience. And then ask yourself concerning your respective emotions, what is my desire? And when you find the answer, you will already have a clue. The answer will often be that another person has done something that is wrong or that seems wrong to you. There you can actually observe, close at hand, that where you should be passive, you are active because you actively desire a change that you cannot control. And by these constant hyperactive desires in the wrong place, you completely forget those instances where you have the power to change if you only look at it. For there is so much power given to you, to each one of you.
Yet you do not realize your power. Why? Because you constantly waste your power in the wrong channels. You use them up unproductively. You often create a short circuit within you, stemming from conflicting desires. For if you learn to examine yourself in this manner, you will not only find that there are so many wrong and unfulfillable desires in you as such, but also conflicting desires. You wish at one and the same time two impossible things. The point is simply that you have to become aware of this paradoxical state of affairs within you. And the only way you can do so is by any type of daily review you conduct by this self-honesty, by examining your feelings and the desires behind them.
That is the process of maturity, because your unconscious, often conflicting desires, are always immature. The fact that you do not consider the problem from this angle and are therefore unaware that there is a price to be paid for each desired gratification does not alter the circumstances in the least. Because of your unwillingness to pay the necessary price for a desired goal, you leave the issue in the unconscious, thus thinking childishly you can get around it. It is uncomfortable for you to realize and obey the laws of justice and thus make yourself ill, not only physically, but on all levels of your existence. So try to observe yourselves from this point of view, what your desires really are.
And then, when you make these findings, you will be surprised how much relief already this knowledge will bring you if you have really embraced to do so, wholeheartedly decided to do so without subterfuge, without any half-heartedness about it. You will be relieved by the mere knowledge, for that will explain to you the mishaps of your life, and that will strengthen your trust in God's justice and wonderful order of the universe. Please visualize for five more minutes that you have the power to change and then slowly come back. Thank you. <laughs> 